Condensed matter physics is the branch of physics dealing with the physical properties of condensed matter, such as liquids and solids. Condensed matter physics seeks to understand the behavior of condensed phases of matter by using established laws of physics. Liquids and solids are the most well-known form of condensed matter, but there are others, particularly as a result of quantum mechanics. The atoms in condensed matter are closer together and more closely bounded together than in gas. As a result, condensed matter tends to be some form of liquid or solid. While condensed matter are mainly solid and liquids, there are other phases, but they tend to be forms of liquids and solids. Liquids are a form of matter with a definite volume but no definite shape. Solids are a form of matter with a definite volume and a definite shape. Superconductors are a solid form of certain material cooled below a characteristic temperature that has exactly zero electrical resistance and is repulsive of magnetic fields occurring within it. Superfluids are a state of matter in which it behaves like a fluid with zero viscosity and zero entropy. This is because all of the atoms within the superfluid are in the same quantum state. A supersolid is a solid form of matter with superfluid properties. Ferromagnetic is a solid form of matter where the magnetic fields of the individual atoms are aligned in the same direction so as to produce a net magnetic field. Antiferromagnetic are a solid form of matter where the magnetic field of the individual atoms in different sublattices are aligned in different directions so as to produce no net magnetic field. A Bose-Einstein condensate is a state of matter consisting of a dilute gas of weakly interacting bosons that is confined in an external potential and cooled to almost absolute zero. It is the only known form of condensed matter that is a gas. The phase transition is a shift of matter between different states. The most well-known and easiest phase transition to observe is between solid and liquid, such as ice melting. The phase transition between liquid and gas is next, showing up in evaporation and boiling. The phase transition between solid and gas is next. Called sublimation, it only occurs at the right temperature and pressure for the substance. Solid CO2 will sublimate at room temperature and pressure. Other phase transitions are more subtle as they may not produce a visible change in the object. A crystalline solid is a solid whose atoms, ions, and molecules are arranged in a three-dimensional repeating orderly pattern. Crystalline solids are commonly simply referred to as crystals. Some common crystals most people would recognize are table salt, diamonds, and even snowflakes. Probably the most common crystalline solid that people encounter is sodium chloride, which is ordinary table salt. This is a two-dimensional illustration of the crystalline structure of sodium chloride. This is a three-dimensional illustration of the crystalline structure of sodium chloride. This is a magnification of actual sodium chloride crystals. Another common example of a crystalline solid is a diamond. Here is a three-dimensional illustration of a diamond's crystalline structure. This is an example of an uncut diamond. A non-crystalline solid is a solid whose atoms, ions, or molecules are not arranged in a repeating orderly pattern. Examples of non-crystalline solids include glass, gels, thin film, and nanostructured material. Glass is a non-crystalline solid material that tends to be optically transparent and brittle. A gel is a non-crystalline solid with a jelly-like structure. This structure can be anywhere from soft and weak to hard and tough. A thin film is a non-crystalline solid consisting of layers of material ranging from a few nanometers to some tens of micrometers thick that are deposited on an underlying substrate. A nanostructured material is a non-crystalline solid that has short-range order at the atomic scale, but not on the large scale. They sometimes contain very small crystals. Soft condensed matter is condensed matter that is easily deformed by stress. Some examples include liquids, polymers, gels, colloids, foam, granular material, and some biological material. Liquids are a form of matter with a definite volume but no definite shape. Polymers are substances consisting of molecules with high molecular mass and made of large numbers of repeating units. Gels are non-crystalline solid with a jelly-like structure. Its structure can be anywhere from soft and weak to hard and tough. A colloid is a substance that is microscopically spread evenly throughout another substance. Foams are a substance consisting of pockets of gas trapped inside a solid or liquid. 
Granular materials are a mixture of discrete macroscopic solid particles that lose energy when particles interact. Condensed matter physics is mainly the physics of liquids and solids. It deals with the physical properties of various types of liquids and solids and the transitions between those types.